Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Let me get this, this camera set up right. Welcome back to my channel. Today is Saturday and normally I do, you know, like songwriting Saturdays or poetry Saturdays. But today, for some reason, I just really need to talk. Okay, I need to let it out. You know, I've been dealing with a lot of a lot of stress and just being emotional and I just feel like I need to have a talk down with you guys. So I thought today would be cute to have like a little Saturday therapy session. Okay, a talk down. Right? And this is completely spur of the moment. Like I just thought about it. I'm just like I just got off the phone with somebody and I'm just like, you know what? I need to talk and I really don't want to talk to anybody, but I need to talk. So it's like, why not talk to you two? So, I'm going to put this out there, right? My stress has to deal with, you know, finances, my career, my job, relationships, as far as family, friends, men, um, you know, my depression and things like that, and, or whatever, and it's just getting to the point where you feel like, what am I going to do? <laughs> like, you really feel like, what am I going to do? How am I going to keep this as controlled and as, you know, to, to just make sense of everything? Like, how the hell am I trying? How, how am I going to keep it together? It's just like. Things are things keep spiraling with everybody. It's just like I keep having these these crazy conversations with people and it just keeps spiraling and getting out of control and it's just making me stressed out. It's making me wanna, you know, it's making me want to take care of myself even more. But it's not because I used to you know how you get depressed sometimes. People that suffer with depression know how know what that's like. And you get very moody, you get very down, um, you're very dark, like you you feel it all in all in your body, all over you, and it's just like you want to scream and cry and just not live anymore and just maybe possibly want to kill yourself and I've been there I was literally there like uh, last month I keep saying like and I'm trying not to I was literally there last month and it's just driving me insane because I, I, it's, 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 it's adult shit just dealing with adult shit and having a real, real honest therapeutic insightful thorough um, exp explanative, explanative, you know, in depth ex with in depth explanations, adult questions, and try to fix problems with as sensical as possible. And it's like it's not working, baby. Like for some reason, it's just it's not working. And I'm like, we're adults. We should be able to communicate. We should be able to say what's on our minds with 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 the most as eloquently as possible about the problem, about your side and my side of the problem, come to some type of consensus or mutual understanding and be able to be cordial with one another and still be able to be to still be able to coexist with each other and within these close knit relationships that I have cultivated for myself. And for some reason it's just not working out. And I have no idea why. I have no idea why. You know, I have an idea. I have a, a, a slight, I have a little slight idea, right? It's like, um, you're the problem? Because people, you know, people, people, sometimes it may be me because I've, I've, I'm a little, I'm a little spicy little, a little thing a little bit, you know. I've gotten a little spicy as I've gotten older and my anger, my anger grows and it gets messy and it gets, it, it's, it, it's all encompassing and it's just like in your face and it's real aggressive and I can just say whatever and fly off the handle and just be like, two minutes later, I just be like, yeah, I don't care because I said it. That's what I meant. I don't give a fuck. You know what I mean? And not give, and not, not really not give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? If you cry, if you used to cry in front of me, I'd be like, yeah, cry about it. I don't care. You know what I'm saying? If you used to cry over something I just said to you, if I got really angry at you and I would just be like, you know, yeah, so, and, you know what I mean? <laughs> like that's so fucked up to say how can you how can you hurt somebody's feelings like that and be so insensitive and just be like i don't care let me tell you how people push you to not give a fuck about their feelings or emotions 
anymore about their jobs, about their sustainability, about any of that bullshit. They push you to not care anymore, okay? <laughs> People push your buttons, especially your family, especially your friends, especially that man or woman that you're dealing with. Man, woman, uh, femme, dom, um, transsexual, pansexual, any of that bullshit. Because, you know, the gender fluidity is, like, insane for the LGBTQ and, and whatever else letters they use in an alphabet community. It's insane. But for whoever you're dealing with that you love and care about and you've cultivated some type of closeness or connectedness, connectivity, that shit, yo, once you, once they push you, my nail, my, my knees look ashy, but they're not. That might be a little ashy. Let me put some lotion on my knees. <laughs> I'm gonna put some lotion on my knees real quick because I can't be in this on this in this on camera. My knees ashy, right? You have to. It's like you have to use everything in you to stay calm to have an, a, an adult conversation, and things end up flying off the handle because they're they're still upset over something that you said or did, and it's just like you're not really getting to the root of the issue or the situation. And it's just like a big mess, and it ends up, it ends up, it ends up just not being solved. And you know, I like, I like having solutions. I like finding solutions to problems these days, because that's what adults do. I'm like, that's what fucking adults do, right? And it's, it's, it, it ends up, the mess ends up getting, you know, even more complicated and complex because we're dealing with, with, with human beings, and we're just complex like that. So it's just like one minute I'm like real happy and real, real happy and, and um flamboyant and just like you know, all cool with you and, and ha ha, kiki, we, we kikiing it up or whatever. And the next minute, it's just like, bitch, I hate you. I don't know what the fuck you talking about. And the next minute, I'm crying. And the next minute, I'm just like, baby, come hold me. I, I need you here. It's just like, that is just like the human capacity of emo emotional capacity, right? It's up and it's down. It's this big roller coaster ride, right? I'm trying not to make this that long. It's just a big emo emotional fucking roller coaster with anybody that you deal with especially within my life it's this big emotional roller coaster because i'm a big emotional roller coaster and i'm complicated and i'm complex but i make sense to me and if and to anybody listening to this if you're somebody who is com compassionate understanding you know um spiritual you know um a teacher a therapist you want to be every anything and everything positive you're a positive person to other people when they meet you with negativity to your positivity, that shit will drive you the fuck insane, okay? It will drive you so batshit crazy, you're not gonna know what to do. And it's like, I need therapy. You know, mental health, mental health, is, mental health awareness month needs to come around every couple of days. That month needs to be literally every freaking month because people need help with their mentals. Because I've been having conversations with people and it's like, you know, I've been in therapy sessions recently, and I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm cultivating or utilizing what I've been learning in therapy and trying to teach people. And it's just like, sometimes they take heed to it, and in one minute they take heed to it, and the next minute they're flying right back off the handle. It's just like, when are you going to get it? When are you going to get it? When are you going to get it? And I get like, life is, life is chaotic. Sorry, my nose is running too, because I have allergies now. And, and this is really humid in my apartment right now. But, sorry, excuse me. And I get that life is very cha chaotic and insane. But this is a better angle. Life is chaotic and insane. I'm growing my hair out, you guys. You like it? It's cute, right? Oh, I look good. My skin looks good. I'm, I'm flourishing. I'm, ba I'm doing bad because of my relationships right now. But I'm still very blessed because I have a roof over my head. You know, I have food in my stomach. I have food in my house. You know, I'm still looking for a job. And I'm still trying to be as creative as I can as far as YouTube and everything. And I've been gone for a minute, but now I'm back with the jump off. So it's like <laughs> you have to get yourself together at the best at your – let me find – let me figure out a better angle. Get yourself together the best way you know how, honey, okay? And if that is therapy, if that's exercise, if that's music, if that's being creative, if that's, you know, 
owning a pet, if that's humming, if that's literally talking to yourself, if that's journaling, writing, you know, you have to find coping skills. You have to, you have to know how to cope and you, you have to, sh you have to, <laughs> it's, it just blows my mind how crazy life is and how crazy your mental can get and how crazy everybody around you can get and how mental health is about keeping it all together and being positive. And it's just like, how do you do that? You know, <laughs> how do you do this? It's just crazy, man. I'm just so... I'm so like, I'm so, I don't know. I don't even know. <laughs> I don't even know what to say about it. And I really hope that for, for everybody else's sake, so I don't have to go to jail for murder because I've already been to jail. That's a whole nother session. I really hope that people can work with me as I'm trying to be this positive way of sunshine in my life and in yours while trying to keep it the fuck together. You know what I'm saying? And flourish and be prosperous and be productive. You know what I mean? Like it's so hard and I can imagine what people with kids go through, with people in marriages go through, with people with like dysfunctional families go through, like extremely dysfunctional families. Like my family is, isn't even all that dysfunctional compared to other people's. And it's just like, I can imagine what you're going through, what you're dealing with. And I'm trying to be, that's why I'm like, I'm the most understanding person if to your trials and tribulations. And it's just like, you can't be as understanding to mine. It's just like, baby, what? What you mean? String bean? <laughs> What you mean, string being Like, what you talking about? Like, how do you not be as, as compassionate and understanding as I'm being to you? Like, how do you not mirror that? Like, I need somebody to mirror my, what I'm giving them. And people are not cooperative. And it's driving me batshit. But... We're, we're, we're coming back to YouTube and we're getting back to your regular scheduled programs. You know what I'm saying? Because I feel like I'm talking too much and I'm, I'm sick of talking now. I have a therapy session Monday. We're going to get it in. You know what I mean? And hopefully, it's it's. I don't want to get too into it because I want to have a therapy session the, the following sat Saturday w with my, um, or the, the Saturday after the next, I'll say with who the person is that I've been having the most struggles with. And you'll see you'll see who it is if they if they agree to do it. If not, we can just talk about it. I'll just I'll just talk about it a little bit more in depth. But huh, yes, y'all, please keep it together. Go to therapy and you know be be positive rays of sunshine. Be a blessing to somebody and into yourself and just get yourself together. Just keep just keep it together. Keep it together, girl. Keep it together, girl. Keep it together. Man, woman, child. <laughs> keep it together. And this thing is getting a little too long, so I'm gonna cut it off here. Um, yes, I'll be back with my YouTube videos on let me think, either Monday or Tuesday, you know, I'll just upload when I want to upload. It doesn't have to be, you know, it has to be um, concise and orderly. But, that's my computer. But, um, you know, so now I just feel like I want to upload whenever I want. You know, I'll try to keep a strict schedule, but you'll just get a video when you get a video. So, because I'll be working now. Hopefully, I have some interviews coming up on Monday. I'm excited about that and yeah everything else as far as my life is kind of going decent you know I'm still I'm still hella blessed I'm still trying to practice gratitude so gratitude was my lesson of the day on my Twitter oh and follow me follow me on Twitter at the selfie queen underscore and follow me on my new Instagram it's at the sexy tomboy tomboy is with a I not a Y and an underscore at the end as well and yeah, y'all have a blessed weekend. Keep it together, ladies and gents. And like, comment, and subscribe. Put a thumbs up if you liked it. And a thumbs up if you hated it. Y'all have a blessed Saturday. Bye.